Ladies and Gentlemen, I welcome all of you back to another English Heroes of New Earth commentary. And today we are gonna take a look submitted by someone called Pringles. Um, he's actually from Clan and I. And so yeah, now the reason why I picked this replay is something I want to point out. First, first of all, it wasn't an hour long. It was a nice 36 minutes, something like that. That's nice. That's perfect. <laughs> and he has a new hero, so that's very interesting. Um, I'm possibly gonna focus the entire replay on the hero. We are gonna definitely talk about him during the early phases. So let's just quickly go over his abilities. Um, so we got Glacial Spike. Um, and blah. Target... Yeah, okay. So you throw it somewhere and... Every enemy takes damage. Ah, this is nice. This, this is this is great. So, you, you throw it in a line, um, deals a little bit of damage and adds five f charges of frost. It has a very, very low cooldown and a very high range. So I guess that's your primary nuke. Then, frigid field. Uh, target an area to deal... Um, yeah, a dot damage. For three seconds, 64 damage for three seconds. Um, adds two charges of frost, frosted, uh, every time you get hit by the damage. Target an enemy to deal uh, damage and stun. Consumes all stacks of frosted for an additional. Oh, so you deal more damage and you actually stun longer. But uh, it has a maximum stun duration for uh, each charge of frosted. Ultimate, I think, yeah, target location, launch a moving orb that pulses every second, deals a lot of damage, a lot of range. And I think it mm, moves pretty slow. But the interesting part about this hero is that the first and second ability go down to two second cooldown. So you can actually spam the shit <laughs> all of your enemies. That's amazing. Um, but let's quickly go over the teams. So we got a uh, Flint Beastwood in the mid lane going up against the Rampage. Flint, I, I generally don't like Flint in the mid lane. I, I don't think that's a good choice. Uh, but then we got the Thunderbringer, Wooded Chester Top, which is terrible against the Bombardier, Elonia. I kind of expect the Hellbound to completely dominate this lane. They should. And then we got Pharaoh Pebbles at the bottom lane. And it looks like Disham is also over here. And Predator Changling. So. Yeah, the Legion side actually has quite a terrible... Not, not the lineup, the lineup is fine. And they, they got quite terrible lanes, so they actually should have sent Pharaoh... Um, with... Uh, yeah, probably with Rampage or something like that. They got... Uh, Thunderbringer needs to go mid. They, he definitely needs to. They could even possibly send Predator solo. And then just go with Voodoo Chest the Rampage top instead. That's probably the smartest choice they could have made. Um, but you need to you need to go to the mid lane with Thunderbringer. That's not even a question. That's a fact. <laughs> yes, it's yeah. If, if you are not gonna send Thunderbringer to the mid lane, it's just he's a worthless pick. Why would you even get the hero? Oh well. Uh, uh, but but yeah, this is this is gonna be interesting. Alonia is actually supporting this game, or which one is getting the farm? Let's take a look. Looks like they are kind of splitting. Yeah, it's a, it's a pub game, so I guess they don't quite um, split. It's just whoever <laughs> last hits better gets the last hits. So yeah, that's that. Um, but yeah, so Flint, <coughs> I personally don't like the hero in the mid lane, I think he should go, it's just, he's so easy to gank, and even though you don't see that a lot in pub games, it's just, it's so, so easy to do, and if you, if you keep ganking him, he can't actually defend himself, he can slow you, but yeah, you can't just take him out, he doesn't have any HP, any significant survivability at all, he's pretty slow with only 290 base movement speed, pretty easy to take out. Uh, now, where is this Rampage? Looks like he is back and he's not gonna charge 
the mid lane, yeah, and I think we're gonna see a gang coming out from the wooded chest. They're gonna pick up the invisibility. I would not be surprised if he's gonna move to the mid lane. Yep. Here we go, and Flint is getting charged. I <sighs> that was a little bit of a mistake on wooded chester's part, to be honest. No rampage, don't do that. Oh yeah. Uh, I think he's gonna get taken out. He should. The thing is, Rampage went back. You should... No, don't do that. Ever. Don't ever go back. That's terrible. Just get yourself a health portion with your career. And uh, you should be fine. But don't ever, ever, ever go back. That's the worst that could possibly happen to you. It's, it's worse than dying, to be honest. Or at least on the same level as dying. If you're forced to go back... Uh, you you aren't ever forced to go back. If you choose to go back, you might as well die. Oh, you can see the abilities from the Elonia. It looks like Thunderbringer is going to get taken out. Yeah, here we go. I love the look of the hero. He's just so much fun to watch. I'm so excited for uh, the later phases. Yeah, this, this hero is fun. Amazing. I really, really like that. And looks like the Chester might be in a little bit of trouble. Both of them got boots. He should eat the tangos, to be honest. I don't know where he is. And oh, oh, oh! He's taking a little bit of damage. Funnabringer didn't use this nuke, though. And it's only level 1, so he sh would have been fine, more than likely. But yet again, Flynn Beastwood pu putting on the heart onto Rampage. And. Yeah, he doesn't have boots yet, Rampage does. Which is the smart choice, going for boots. Very powerful. Uh, but on the other side, we got this Pebbles farming in the bottom lane. And to be honest, he should have perfect farm. But he doesn't. I think he's just failing his last hits. Meantime, we got another kill on the top lane. Funnabringer gets taken out between the. Elunia and Bombardier. Bomba, 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 Ba. Um. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of to be expected. Fun bring us worthless in lane, might as well not have anyone there. As oh, oh, nice initiation in the bottom lane. I like what he did right there. Chuck the Pharaoh onto the rampage. Manages to get the kill. Uh, yeah, he they won't actually make anything happen. Now, Predator is coming in. Uses the leap onto Pebbles. Pebbles can't just chuck him away if he wants to. Oh, he uses a stun. That works out just fine as well. Now Predator's still chasing. Uh, Leap doesn't have the longest of cooldown, but he's pretty slow and he won't be able to catch up. And now we got Flint and Delonia coming in, so I guess we're gonna see at least one kill right here. Pharaoh gets hit by the flare. He's gonna get taken out right away. Here we go with the frost field and the nice frost arrow thingy, whatever it's called. Glacial Spike. That's a nice name. And Predator is going to drop to the hands of the Mental Shaman. Uh, yeah. A few nice kills coming out. Nice gang. I really like that hero. I wish I had the coins. But I don't. By the way, if, uh, if you're replays. I mean, just to point this out yet again, um, if you want me to cast a game of yours or of one of your friends or just any game in general, leave the match ID in, a, uh, in the comments with your name or whoever you want me to point out in this game. Of course, it's a replay submitted by Pringles by the Alonia. Um, but leave the match ID in the comments and I'm just gonna choose the match ID from the comments. So, um, But if your match ID features uh, a lot of kills, is kind of short or well with kind of short I mean if it's not an hour <laughs> um, but if it features a lot of kills or one of the new uh, new heroes you got a pretty high chance of getting picked to be honest it increases your chances significantly oh nice done and Pebbles just might get away from this yeah looks like he will hmm they kind of misplayed that But, yeah, the mummy wall actually saved him. Hmm. Now. Four heroes at the bottom lane. That's gonna be interesting. But, nah. I don't think anything is gonna happen. 
as you can see they are already moving back to the mid um, possibly gonna jump onto the flint beast, so yeah he is dead no chance at surviving that Rampage is just so much faster and here we go with the slow coming out the horn strike and Predator picks up the last hit <laughs> greedy bastard yeah but Predator gets the kill so that's fine and Flint Beast will get taken out so they finally get some return kills right here actually it's only one <laughs> but they get one return kill onto that Flint uh, he deserves it because he's going for Ghost Marchers Ghost Marchers are terrible on Flint you should never ever 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 get Ghost Marchers on Flint so yeah you don't need them why would you? you need as much as survivability and attack speed as you can get so yeah Ghost Marchers are bad on Flint I think they are generally kind of overrated. There are a few heroes they are actually good on, uh, like Rampage. I like getting Ghost Marshals on Rampage because they can use the movement speed. You really can. Makes them a lot more powerful. But other than that, I don't think there's any hero in the entire game where I personally would get the Ghost Marshals. On every single other hero, I would go for the Steam Boots. <laughs> Thunderbringer doesn't have, you'll have regular Marshals yet. You can afford them. And a TP. I don't know why he isn't using the courier to get those. Uh, hello, man. In the meantime, we got Elonia going up against Rampage. And oh my god, she's actually putting out a lot of damage right here. And Rampage is going to get taken out. Oh my god. That was amazing. How did he do that? I have to say, I love this hero. That's f actually, he, the hero is amazing. And in the meantime, Thunderbring gets taken out by Bombardier. Let me just quickly go ahead and ignore the chat because I don't want to read that. I don't care. And it's annoying as fuck. Here we go. And, oh, come on guys. <laughs> this is so annoying. Oh well. Now, Pebbles, his farm is kind of pathetic to be honest. I expected him to be a at a much higher GPM at this point of the game. He had free farm for the entire early phase simply because uh, he was up 1v2 against the Pharaoh. So I have to blame him for not having uh, yeah, a lot of GPM. But this is probably again like a low level game. And as I already mentioned, the most low level players, their only fault is that they don't quite know how to last it. <laughs> <laughs> really don't. And that's kind of sad, but oh, 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 the bomb lands on the Predator. He doesn't have stone height. I don't think they know that, though. So, yeah, he's gonna be fine. By the way, Predator skill build is terrible. As I already mentioned, you only need one point to do candy ramos. Uh, this is overkill. It really is. I'm not saying that Kenny Venus is a bad ability and that you should not get more than one point. I'm saying that if you want to jungle, one point is enough. It, it really is. You don't need more. And if you don't need more, why would you get more? Because Venom is sleep and Stonehide gives you so, so much more. Oh! In the meantime, we got a gank onto Pebbles or Pharaoh. I'm not sure which one. <laughs> but it looks like Pharaoh is going to be the one to get taken out. Pebbles is still chasing. He has the cost ground dots on the level 1 and he's gonna use the static mats right here. And gets the kill before Flint is actually able to steal it. Meantime, Predator went back to base to finish his Akim spawns, which is terrible, he should use the courier. Um overall Akim spawns aren't as good, but he finishes them well yeah, it's about in time. Don't, my god, he could have pulled him on the side of the camp and stacked. I don't f I don't know if this actually leaves the corpse, does it? Yeah, it does. So he could have pulled him outside of the camp and stacked. But, well, oh well. Oh well. Now, Funnerbringer, maybe in a little bit of trouble. Nah, doesn't look like it. They don't want to dive that. Would be really risky. Really, really risky. Because. Thunderbringer, so much damage! <laughs> so, so much damage. He gets. He, he is a glass cannon, but as you can. Yeah, just look, take a look at this. Basically, two shots flint at this point. One more. One more. If you can just get off one more. Yeah, use the ultimate. No! Use your bottle! Use your bottle! Ultimate! 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 
Oh, you idiot! Why did you use your chain lightning? You idiot! My God, just how stupid can a human being be? Uh, oh well. Oh, I love this hero. I really want to play Alonia. Is she free? I think. Did she? Oh, I need to take a look at that. Uh, is she still early access? I don't think so. Yeah, hell yeah! Oh, I need to play Elonia. I really need to. I need to create a first impression kind of video. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna do that later on. Maybe. By the way, I really like his skill build. I think that's actually quite... Yeah, it's quite smart what he's doing. Only getting one point in the frigid field because... It only increases the damage, the charges and everything it stays the same. Oh, in the meantime, looks like Predator's gonna get taken out. Hatrick actually for the flint. I'm sorry that I missed that. I didn't actually miss it, I just wanted to finish talking about Elonia. Um, but I really like what, what he's doing right here. We're only getting one point into the field. Since the slow and everything else just static. So, yeah. Frosted actually slows, so uh, that's nice. Uh, yeah, that's that's actually good to know. I didn't know that. I'm excited to see his ultimate. Looks like he's gonna go for either spell shards or health lower. I seriously hope it's health lower because spell shards are terrible. Play not bad. Oh 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 oh! Here we go with the <laughs> everything used on the front bringer. Front bringer just no chance at surviving that. I think that was the ultimate right there, the slow moving um, sword thingy, whatever it's called. And Rampage just might be going down right here, Predator coming in to help, and <laughs> he actually gets chewed just a little bit. Activates the Stone Height though, and I think he should get out of there just fine now. Oh, Pharaoh incoming! Uh, he's only blocking off the path, but here we go, Voodoo Chester Predator. And Rampage all over here. Stun hits Elonia. Elonia also gets <laughs> the bad mojo. And Pharaoh ultimate use on the Flint Beast. Flint Beast was just gonna get destroyed. Voodoo Chest ultimate is putting out so, so, so much more damage. That Voodoo Ward. Or Spirit Ward. It's actually a Spirit Ward. Predator. What is he going for? Arcana? What the heck? Why doesn't he have a portal key yet? My god. Oh well. That actually deals a lot of damage. Yeah, 200 magic damage, so... It's interesting. I really like the hero. I really have to play that hero. Looks like they are going to start pushing in the top now. And I think... Sh no. No, it's a whole first decay now, so... Oh, I was like, oh yes, hell yeah, he's going for health lower, but no, no, it's probably spell shots, which is terrible. But oh well. Spell shots are just a bad item. I don't know why everyone wants to buy them. They're bad. They literally are bad. Oh, my god. Oh well. Just take a look at Thunderbringer. Thunderbringer is the only hero that can actually uh, justify spell shots. He's the only hero that can actually use those. But other than that, that's, that's it. No, don't get spell shots. Oh, oh, oh. D sham is dropping, and here we go with the nice initiation. No chance of surviving that. That's actually quite nice what they got going on here with the Pharaoh and the Thunderbringer. A little bit of long range initiation. Even, even, yeah, even the Predator, they can't just wait for them to come and then use their long range abilities to go into the fight. Um, Flint just kind of spamming his ultimate right here. That's the kind of mid war standoff. I don't quite know what's the point of this. Oh, oh, Elonia is gonna get spotted by Predator. Gonna use the Ghost Mushrooms to maybe try and walk away, but I guess, yeah, he is dead. Elonia is going to drop. <laughs> Predator is still alive, he is dropping though, he uses the stone height, it's gonna help him survive the flint ultimate and flint gets taken out in return. Now Predator and Ram, Ram uh, Pebbles. Pebbles and Rampage are still going at it. 
And Peppers is gonna have his combo pretty soon, and I kind of get the feeling that... Oh! Oh, that would have been so nice! No, hit him! What are you doing? You idiot! You idiot! Hit him! No! No! What are you doing? Idiots! No! Just why? You got to be kidding me! What the heck? My god. <sighs> now Elonia against Woody Chester. That's gonna be interesting. Uh, yeah, Elonia is probably gonna win that. I don't see Woody Chester surviving. No chance. Absolutely no chance. By the way, I wanted to point something out. Okay, he got a power supply. No power supply, no power supply. No power supply, no power supply. Uh, no power supply. Power supply? No power supply, no power supply, no power supply. But this guy is a viewer, so he obviously knows the power supply is one of the best items in the game and that you should get it on every single hero, especially if you go up against a Thunderbringer. So yeah, power supply, get a power supply. Uh, Pharaoh just kind of wasted, wasted his ultimate right there. No point to doing that, but he kind of wanted to. <laughs> And oh, oh oh yeah, you are dead, good sir. And now Predator is jumping in, gets hit by a lot of abilities, but uses just this, just uses the Stone Eye to get away. Oh, Elonia Ultimate coming out. <sighs> I don't know if they can actually make anything happen. Elonia doesn't have a lot of mana left, and she keeps on spamming. But oh yeah, they are probably gonna get the kill onto Wood Chester. Here we go. <laughs> Finn Beastwood gets chucked in. And they take Wooded Chest out nice and quick and clean. Oh, 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 nice, nice combination. That was well done, I have to say. Though it looks like Rampage is gonna get away. Still, nah, very well done. Very well done. Thunderbringer uh, is dropping, he's dropping. Thunderbringer is not a tanky hero. Especially if you don't have any items whatsoever. He got one Bracer. <laughs> and now looks like Thunderbringer might be going down yet again. What is this? Mid Wars? Uh, he's dropping, he's pretty low. He sh he's not gonna keep on fighting. But yeah, this is. What is this? <laughs> Mid Wars? <laughs> Come on, guys! What's the what are you doing? Someone should be farming. Like the, f the Flint should not be fighting. He really shouldn't. He should not be in this fight. He should be at the top lane and farm. No. And oh, oh, oh incredible Pharaoh initiation. Here we go. Well, the Chester didn't use the curse. Why didn't you use the curse? No. No. There would have been so, so many kills. But it still is. So, still are going to be a lot of kills. Um, but... Flynn's actually the only one to survive that. Elonia wasn't in that fight to begin with. But why didn't you can use curse? No, it was perfect. Elonia's gonna go in onto Pharaoh though. He doesn't have any mana left. It's the one big problem. This hero's very mana intensive. It's just that yeah, his spells cost a lot of mana too. If he wants to spam those, he can't. <laughs> he literally can't. That's why he needs an item like a Hellflower that gives him a lot of mana and mana regeneration. I definitely can see a... what's it called? Ring of Sorcery being a very useful item on this hero as well. But looks like the mid tower is now finally going to drop. No, nope. the power tower protection used Finn Beastwood is gonna come in, maybe try to defend us. And... Nope. Nope. Nothing gonna happen. And they're still going at it. Still in mid-wars. I don't get why, but... Oh well. Now finally we got someone's farming, 
Like, this, something like this should not be happening. And especially, Finn Beastwood should be the last hero to be in the mid lane. He should be farming, like Elonia is doing. That's, that's, that's nice. That's what she is supposed to, uh, what, what you are supposed to be doing. If your enemy is going like, yeah, we're gonna mid wars you. Just send three heroes to the mid lane. Maybe all three of your, like, support, semi-support heroes. And that's it. Don't use more resources than you need to use. Oh, again, a nice Pharaoh initiation. That guy is really good with that. And this time, the Rudy Chester actually uses the curse. Bombardier is going to drop. Now, Elonia is coming in. It's just going to destroy everybody. That was really well done. Now, he's going to get taken out by the Thunderbringer. Yeah, that's... I like the hero, though. His animations are kind of annoying. It's not... It's not that they don't look nice, they look amazing, but they are so in your face. They are so big and obnoxious. I don't like that. They, they really need to maybe tune them down just a little bit. They kind of make the team fights confusing. There are too many effects going on with those, with that hero. Mm. Like compared to Thunderbringer. With Thunderbringer, yes, yes, you know what's going on. You know what just happened. And you got some nice effect like a yeah, lightning bolt raining down from the skies. With Elonia it's just like, what the heck is going on? I don't, I can't see anything anymore. And that's kind of a problem. Rampage finally picked up a bull bug. Uh, that's a great item, I think. I personally <laughs> am actually a huge fan of just yeah, like his item, and I like that. Uh, Ghost Marchers, Helm, that's great. Uh, and then, I personally like to just rush the demonic. It works wonders, though I think you should throw a power supply and a Mystic Vestment in there, and a TP, of course. Just screw the hatchet, you don't need that. But then rush the... What are these guys doing? Hugging? Well, Thunderbringer, you are dead. In the meantime, we got another fight going on at the top lane. It looks like Finn Beastwood is going to drop yet again. Yep, here we go. He gets taken out by the, by the Pharaoh. But here we go. Philonia coming in. No! He misses his first sword throw thingy, whatever it's called. Glacial Spike. I always forget the names. Absolute Zero Flash Freeze and Frigid Field. But here we go with the Absolute Zero and Flash Field and whatever the heck. Everything is getting used, but Pharaoh is still going to get away. He's really tanky and Predator picks up the double damage and destroys the Elonia. In the meantime, he kind of still got a chase going on, just a little bit. Uh, would it just, uh, nah, he's not gonna dive that. It's pretty risky going up against the Pebbles. Pebbles is scary. That's one scary motherfucker. He really is. <laughs> no, Pebbles saved up a lot of money. I don't know what he's going for. Maybe he's gonna get a portal key, finally? He could have gotten that ages ago. <sighs> Oh well. Top tower gets taken out. Finn Beastwood still doesn't have any money. Let me show you something. Just take a look at these scream scores. Um, like, I'm not a good player. Okay, I really am not. I am maybe above average, but I'm not good. I am not a good player. Now, the, still, I personally always try to have, if I'm a carry, or any hero that's reliant on farm, I always try to get 50 creep kills every 10 minutes. That's my goal. Now, if you take a look at these creep scores, we got 97 on Predator, but a lot of these are jungle creeps. And he's actually the only one that's farming pretty good. And he got the alchemist bounce. Um, but other than that, we got Finn Beastwood with 66, Alonia 65, Pebbles 53. That's too low, you need more. Uh, Pebbles? He just might be dropping. No, the curse crown is probably gonna be off. Doesn't the passive reduce the debuff? I guess that doesn't work with curse. Curse is superior. I don't know. I have to test that. That would be a nice thing for. I think so. Everybody knows. Uh, but yeah, Pebbles gets taken also. Very well done. And. Oh my god, they are. Oh, <laughs> it just might jump in on that. Uh, nice flare. Doesn't hit anybody though, I think. Probably gave a vision onto the Pharaoh. And here we go with the initiation onto Elonia. But Elonia is a really difficult target to initiate. Him. No, no, no. He is not tanky, but just take a look at that. He uh, almost manages to take out the Pharaoh. In the meantime, yeah, Rampage is just gonna destroy everybody. Bombardier is already dead. 
And here we go with the charge to finish him off. The Magic Chairman is probably gonna drop. I don't know, the curse just maybe? No, it's not gonna be enough. The Magic Chairman got the heal after all. And I don't quite know what Flint Beast was thinking right here. He should be going back. He's overextending. He's playing very, very risky. And here we go, yeah, Predator Jumping King is gonna use the Stone Height. No, he didn't use the Stone Height, so I guess he doesn't want to use the Stone Height. But he still manages to take out Flint. And uh, no, maybe Pebbles is in a little bit of trouble. Deep is coming up, and here we go. Predator jumping in onto Pebbles. Uh D Sham is over here as well though, so oh yeah, Pebbles is gonna be fine. But but Top Tower is probably gonna fall right here. No, uh, the thing is, it's pretty early in the game, so resurrection timers aren't that high, actually. Alonia being level 13 is the highest on their team, so... The tower is going to go the down right here. Tower. And maybe we're gonna see something... happen? No? No? No. Okay, I guess not. Uh Alonia is running into Pharaoh. He doesn't have enough uh, doesn't have enough mana though, so she's gonna be fine. Uh same cannot be said for the bombardier, he gets taken out. And uh, Flint just maybe Nah, he should be fine. <laughs> Pebistan gets used. And now Alonia, oh my god, good sir, you are in a whole heck of a lot of trouble. Uh, yeah. Maybe, just... no. He got the spell shards, which I already said that I hate. I think they are bad. Um, but yeah, <laughs> this is strange. What's going on? Well, I guess the, the Legion side, they are kind of at the point of the game where they are like, mm, we kind of want to finish? But I'm not sure if we can, that's why they're hesitant and don't really dare to go in. Though, I think they could. I think they could finish this game. They are leading by quite a significant margin. Anything gonna happen? Doesn't look like it. Oh. By the way, Rampage has a lot of money. <laughs> a lot of money. Same can be said for Pebbles, so we're probably gonna pick up that portal key. You know? but that's what he'd be doing with the money. Don't tell me you're not gonna pick up the portal key. Oh, here we go, finally. It's about time. It's about time. Again, <laughs> a little bit of midwalls going on. Pebbles back in the bay is gonna pick up his portal key. Just hope he picks up a TP as well, but probably won't. Oh, that's so bad. I think Beastwood still doesn't have anything. Okay, let me let me just Oh 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 nice initiation. He doesn't use the mummy wall though. I don't know why. Well, he was kind of on his own, so maybe that's why. Um, but let me tell you something about Flint. Everybody wants to play Flint for some odd reason, but I never see good Flint players. And the thing about Flint is that he's very team dependent. And a lot of players think that, yeah, I can't just go Flint and own. No, you can't. That hero is entirely team dependent. If he doesn't have an appropriate team, he is worthless. And you should only pick him if his team is fitting. Otherwise, he's sh you are just gonna feed. And it's, it's the same for every Flint. So, yeah. Flint is a very, very, very team dependent hero. He's a good hero. He's a great, amazing carry. The huge range of him is. Yes, it's just. 
ridiculous, but still he's very team dependent. And without the team he can't do anything. At all. Nothing. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, Pep is gonna go in right here. Nice done, you stun to the Pharaoh. Uh, but Curse Ground hits two heroes. The Bombardier already is dead. Thunderbringer ultimate even used. So maybe Pepys is gonna get yeah Pepys is dead as well. Though Elonia is still charging. Nice bomber the ultimate. And Pharaoh is coming in. Oh my god, that was great. He <laughs> actually catches them inside of tower range. Don't know, no, here we go with the predator. Destroys Flint. And oh, that was close. Though Rampage is charging. Uh, is charging. He is charging onto the Elonia and Elonia is dead. No chance. Absolutely no chance. And yeah, d is gonna get taken out as well. So, kind of expect a concede all pretty soon. Bombardier survived because of the cape, I think? Yeah, probably. Unbreakable is a great ability. Predator picked up a warp cap, so... That's probably gonna be a demonic. Which I'm fine with. Demonic is an amazing item on Predator. And, yeah, Predator is one of those units that can actually use uh, attack speed more than others. Simply because of that Kalnibarnus, or whatever it's called. I don't know, I guess I'm German, I, I can't pronounce everything right, so, shut up. Love the users still farming. Though I don't know why the Legion side isn't pushing. I know uh, maybe they just want to play safe, but they really could be Yeah, they really could finish this game right now. Right here. Right now. No, no. Uh, but yeah, just go finish. You can do that. Why would you wait? It's not even about playing safe anymore. Oh, oh, oh Predator just finished his demonic. Oh did he? Well, uh, oh, well, uh. oh, in the meantime, I'm to the top lane. I think that actually, yeah, actually managed to turn this around quite nicely. So they're gonna get that kill, and Funderbring is also going to drop. Oh, 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 Pharaoh coming in, and oh my god, oh my god, yeah, he is going to get a double kill. Very well done, very, very well done. Meantime, Rampage, probably gonna go on to, no, he won't risk that, he's 1v2. He's also going for a demonic. But I feel like we're gonna see the game right he end right here. Predator's gonna go jump in. Activates this ultimate, activates the stone height. And just destroys Pebbles. Uh yeah. Yeah. Just take a look at him. Destroying everybody with two hits. Flint is gonna get taken out as well. <laughs> Fun to bring us the S to kill. And he guy. That's the concede. And actually quite an interesting game. So I, I like that Pringles, you're a cool guy. And send me more replays. Leave them in the comments. And see ya next time.